Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond. And today, AD Carry Training begins. So in our first game of AD Carry Training, hilariously, we are playing AP Twitch. Uh, mainly because we've got no AP, uh, unless our Aurelia is going to troll and go AP Aurelia, which obviously has become uh, not a thing, but some people are doing it. Um, and that generally doesn't go very well. Anyway, um... Why am I playing AD Carry from now on or today? I made that Zaya video a few days ago and I kind of mentioned I've been tempted to swap to AD Carry as my secondary role. Mid will stay as my primary, but when I'm not in the mood to play mid, a lot of the time I'm playing support or occasionally jungle. Jungle, I'm just, I just don't enjoy. Like, that, I just have to say it as it is. Like, yes, jungle is the most impactful role, but I just don't enjoy playing it as much. Uh, Rigel, 1999, thank you much for all the 20 months, dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it. But yeah, I just don't enjoy playing it. And I, I'm playing League like a lot of people, but I'm I'm playing it for fun more than anything else. And if I'm not having fun in the jungle, then I don't want to play it. Um, So then I play support, which obviously is impactful, but sometimes, you know, it's not the carry role. AD carry has always been a role that I've enjoyed. I've always said for years, it's probably my favorite role mechanically to play um so i've thought let's play a bit of ad carry so today is thursday it's the normal day i record unranked to diamond so today we're only gonna play ad carry and then tomorrow on the main account we're gonna play that's a weird play by ash tomorrow on the main account we'll play um ad carry you haven't got an item <laughs> See, I pinged Doran's ring just to like make her like think item, and she's like, "Wait, don't have item." Have Thank you very much, Dobby, for saying that to me because I did not notice myself. Master has presented Sonora sock. Oh, I need to sneeze. Yeah, it's an incredibly apparently high um, pollen count today here in uh, the UK, and you can you. I, I really am bunged up completely. I do think I probably have some form of hay fever nowadays, unfortunately. Alright, that'll do. Warwick doesn't really need a massive leash. Oh. See, yeah, apologies if I'm going to be a bit bunged up today. There's not anything I can do about it. I've already taken an antihistamine. So, I've done practically everything I can to try and help it. One thing I probably do need is to get a pack of tissues or something just so I can clear it. Hey, Zelge. Okay, AP Twitch. I have... When Did I play it recently? One thing I just noticed I haven't done is obviously open uh, Horrorfessor to look at the ratings and stuff. In a down moment, I'll try to do that. Oh, oh! You can auto attack Sona. Hey, real runners. Hey, Ned Leo. Your COVID is slightly better today. Oh, hopefully you continue to recover quick. And it is very weird that again most of the world just thinks that isn't a thing anymore, but it, it still is, and it is still killing people. Well, obviously, I had it at uh, literally had it on Christmas itself. That sucked. That sucked big time. Oh, God, my nose. The soda is so squishy. Also, like to please just again let you guys know. Obviously, I'm not going to do crazy life updates all the time, but I think some people just would be nice to know. Little Miss Maya has not bitten me or Queen Pleb now for going on four to five days. Um, hey, Hex said Jinx. I probably will be playing Jinx today, by the way. We've tried a new thing with her because what we were doing before, and obviously, as I mentioned, is when she ever bit us, we'd pin her and kind of be like, that's not okay to do. And that works, I'm presuming, with a lot of dogs, but a lot of dogs aren't Maya. And she basically just saw the pinning as a game, and then that would kind of just ramp up her biting. Um... 
and it just wasn't effective. Both me and Queen Player were getting quite injured. Um, which, you know, when you're getting injured by biting and then... Oh, you're dead. You get injured by biting and then there's not enough time for that to heal. And then she'd bite you in the exact same area and then it hurts a lot. It just was not great. Um, so what we actually tried, and some people might not like it, which I completely understand, but we basically, it's not, no, it's not a shock collar or anything like that. It, it, I can't remember what they officially call it. It might be like a sense collar. So the collar itself, it, it has a remote and the collar can beep, it can vibrate, uh, or it can release a smell called like centrazine or something. It's like a lemon smell that dogs don't love. Uh, completely doesn't harm them in any way of the imagination. And basically... When she was biting, you just push the beep. So we've hardly used the smell. We've hardly used the vibrate. We've mainly just used the beep. And that basically just shook her out of that complete like, I'm biting you, I'm biting you, I'm biting you. Because it would be really, really, really hard to knock her out of that. Um, even on walks, she was jump biting us on walks. So we did that for a few days. And we basically already are hardly ever having to use the beep. Which obviously the beep is like you could call it level one. It's like the most tame thing. Then it's the vibration. It just does like a little vibrate. And then the third one is releasing the centrazine smell. Yeah, we're only using the beep now. And I think yesterday it was used a grand total of one time. One time the entire day. And that was with me. I was on a walk with her and she picked up a stick and refused to move. So I was a bit like, eh. I don't know if I needed to use it then, but I just was like, okay, we do kind of need to keep going here. So I was like, let's just do a beep. Oh, nice. So we did, and it worked perfectly. And then she started walking again. So honestly, and then the weird thing is the actual biting us thing. Uh, I, Because obviously she wasn't with me over the weekend. She was with Queen Pleb's family and Queen Pleb. Um, I think when it came to biting, they did it three times like and they did use the smell when it came to biting people and then she just doesn't bite people anymore she still thinks about it she'll go to you with like her mouth open and just kind of brush but then she'll kind of go oh yeah i'm not supposed to do that and then she doesn't where before she'd be like and bite so the improvement in already like three four five days is just absolutely ridiculous We don't actively... Sona is so weak. And I don't love laning with Sonas because you basically just don't have a lane phase, unfortunately. But this is the thing, is like I'm playing AP Twitch, so I don't really have a lane phase anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. A you know, AP Twitch is not known for lane phase. He's known for taking over the game as the game goes on. Mage Seeker. I'm not allowed to show you guys anything Mage Seeker yet. So yes, I have received Mage Seeker early. I, I'm allowed to say that, I believe. Um, I could play it literally right now, but I'm not allowed to stream it or anything. I am planning on making a video about it, though. JK83, thank you so much, my dude. What kind of game is Mage Seeker? Um... It's like a dungeon crawler, side-scrolling kind of game. This is the way, he says. 56 months tier 1. Thank you so much, my dude. Long-term sub. Oh. Alt. Oh, my God. That was so bad. <laughs> yes, it's a Silas game. Yeah. Partially, I don't think we should be fighting anyway, but then also that wasn't played very well. <sighs> mean. So this is what you can see. Hey, alone slash slash. This is the negative of AP Twitch is the lane phase doesn't really exist. And I will say, when you compile AP Twitch with a Sona, 
Yeah, it's a not it's not great. Ooh. I mean, that's really good. I'm going to go back to lane. They should be able to kill him. I might I was, I was like, I might get the kill with the dot. Nope. What do I think of the off-screen pings? I'm okay with them. I know to some people, and it has happened to me a couple times, it confuses me that thinking someone's pinging me, but they're not. I think they're overall a good idea, though. But I think I know some people have instantly like turned it off, but I think I'll turn I'll keep it on for me. That was really good. Again, for a champion that I don't really have a lane phase to end up with two nice. To end up with two kills and assists and we're only 10 farm behind. Yeah, I'll take that happily. You're starting gym today. Any tips on when choosing a good workout plan? You want to build more muscle? Um well, my advice, obviously, I don't know what your fitness level is right now, but don't absolutely kill yourself right at the beginning. You know, I, I've been going to gyms for many years. And sometimes, you know, and I, I'd be when I first started the gym, you'd want to do so much more than you should, really. And you'd be walking out the gym absolutely dead. It's not it's not sustainable to do that. So be man like manage well what you're doing. Don't absolutely kill yourself every time you walk in the gym. Nearly kill yourself, but don't absolutely do it, you know? Sorry. Does she have ult? She does have ult. And there we go, because now we are a champion. To be fair, the enemy team focused the wrong champion there. They just focused the Sona and let me completely free hit. It's never the best idea to let any champion just completely free hit you. You could have based there. I'm pretty sure he didn't know. All right, nice. We actually have our first item. Let's go. Wahoo. <laughs> Just stood there in auto. I mean, that's the AD carry life. I know to some people, they'll be like, oh, Huz is going to play AD carry. And he's going to see how hard the role is. Obviously, I've played AD carry for years. I don't think it's a very hard role. I'm going to just say that right now. I think the hardest aspect of it is arguably you get focused the most. So like getting focused as much as you do, you could say is hard. I mean, that's crazy. I'm going to end up with all these assists. I get one kill, one assist, and two assists. Yeah, worth. Not really sure what the enemy team is doing there, I'm going to be honest. God damn it. OBS says, not going to lie, AD carry is definitely one of the five hardest roles to master. I mean, technically true. It is one of the, you know, one of five. It's one of the five hardest. As as roles go in League of Legends, yes. <sighs> also, yeah, Zach Top has been destroyed. I'm not massively surprised, if I'm honest. I don't think Zach Top is incredibly good. She might be dead. If I could have got one... Oh, I got her! Let's go. I was like, if I got one more auto, she was definitely dead, but now I got her. Oh, AP Twitch, man. Again, the thing you just got to get through is not having an early lane phase. And like, I will say, I like an early lane phase, so it does feel a bit weird for me to basically be stupidly weak. Like, I don't love it. But if you get through that, then you just take over. I have a shutdown and he ignored me. 
Oh, that's not a good decision. That was a bad decision by Jarvan. Wow. I was dead if he just hit me. Is that just ignited? Jarvan's blind. It's not that he's blind, he just chose the wrong target. I've also caught up in farm now. So Victor's got absolutely destroyed. She missed that stun. It's not AP Aurelia as well, thank God. She's dead. Are you sure? You're not dead? She has to be dead. Unless Lulu saved her. Lulu shield or ult must have saved her. Hi. Oh yeah, she has got a heal to be fair. Forgot about that. AP Warwick. I mean, AP Warwick used to be a thing many years ago, mainly for top lane. You just couldn't kill him because his sustain was too crazy. What? Oh god, why has she got a large rod? Is she going... Someone in Twitch that just said decap rush Sona. I think she actually might be rushing decap. Oh my god, that Victor mucked that up. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, she doesn't have a tear. So maybe she's building Saras, but she ignored the tear bit. I don't know. That would be weird. He ignited her again. Oh, wait, no. She is ignite. Oh, that was a rally or ignite. Yeah, this is a little bit of a stomp. I'd say bot lane, we played it fine. She has a tear. Oh, she does have a tear. Oh, what? Am I blind? So would I play AP Twitch on the main account, by the way? The answer is yes. If in exactly the same case as this, I'm playing AD carry. And this is my, I would say, the only thing that I, I'm okay with AP Twitch, because I don't love the pick. But... If my whole team is full AD and I'm the AD carry role, I would say, you know, because some people are like, oh, you could play your Vyga, you could play your Ziggs. You could. But I do think AD, AP Twitch, sorry, is just stronger. Oh, I stood still for too long. I was, re I was being very greedy. But I'm going to get three assists and one kill. It's worth 100%, but I could have survived that as well. Um, but yeah, so like if I've got a full AD team comp and I'm playing Twitch uh, bot lane or AD carry, I will play AP Twitch. Um, because yeah, I think AP Twitch is vastly stronger than any equivalent. Like maybe Karthus bot lane is okay. But apart from that, I think AP Twitch is better than everything. I think it's better than Ziggs. I think it's better than Viga Bot. I think it's better than pretty much anything else. Seraphine. AP Varus. I don't actually personally like AP Varus myself, to be honest. Uh oh. He's on a big shutdown. He died eventually. But I actually ended up killing four of them. They're actually going to ace them without me. Yeah, it's been a bit of a stomp. Oh, no. I don't have thumbnail. Quick. To the base. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. 
Ah, we're good. We had we've got two items. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have two items. Because Jarvan is playing just so all in, which is just not great. Oh, she didn't get that kill. The weird thing with playing AP Twitch is like this. You actively take a lot of damage from a red and you can't like just life steal it, which you normally would. I've already played AP Varus. I think Var Varus is dead in this series. Obviously, I only can play AD carries today that aren't dead in the series. Varus is already dead. I think, yeah. You could get the Omni Mythic, yeah, technically. I think technically, though, a lot of people get um, the mythic that stops you taking a lot of damage on AP Twitch because, you know, you are with stealth, you put yourselves in a bit of precarious situations and that can end up, you can end up just dead quite easily. I flashed in a straight line. Enemy team just can't do anything, man. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes the best offense is uh, attack. So yeah, I kind of realized Zack's damage ran out. The thing with Zack, like, well, Zack in general, is when he doesn't have any spells, he does zero damage. So, yeah. But there we go. That is our first game of the day. Went very well. And that is from not having the most perfect lane phase as well. Which, when you combine AP Twitch with Sona, it's basically having a negative lane phase. It, well, like, it's bad. <laughs> because both champions just don't exist in lane. Uh, I'm going to give it to the Jax. I think he played incredibly well. Won his lane, stomped, did well. So well done to him. One thing I do need to open is the dono list. Just to see. Is this donated? No. So plus 30. We go 937, 16.4k damage for AP Twitch. That is all about mid to late game. And like it's only a 21 minute match. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I think, you know, and... We didn't do like what some AP Twitches do, a lot of roaming and stuff like that. Oh yeah, the loading screen. Oh, I don't need, I can't even get that up now because the game's over. My bad. Sorry, yeah, I didn't bring the stats up. Um, and now the game's over, I can't bring it up. Anyway, um, yeah, that went really well. For a weaker lane phase, we then got, well, realistically what brought us into this game was the dragon. That the enemy team bullied us off the dragon then they stayed to try and do it, and then I got a double kill and an assist, and then I was completely into the game. So anyway, that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy and you're excited about me playing AD Carry, uh, do throw a like on it. Let me know what you think AD Carries I'd be good on. I know a lot of people are going to go, how's your Ezreal has always been good? Yeah, and we might play an Ezreal game today. But uh, yeah, let me know, and that'll be it. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down. Regime, I know how to unleash eternal peace.